So this little dude, let's call him 16 because he's 16 now, is in the backseat of the car and is going 100 miles an hour. He's being chased by the mini egg and he's scared out of his mind. So one night, it's 16th birthday and he's hanging out with a group of friends and their younger brother. And there are six of them. Collectively, we just call them boys. So boys are hanging out one night. They're having a sleepover and they start playing a game where they dare each other to do the stuff eventually. It's a kid turn. We'll just call him Mooney. So it's Mooney's turn to be there and one of the boy dare him to play ding dong ditch and Mooney agrees. Now one of the boy has a car. We'll just call him driver. So all six of them piles into the driver car. They cruise around the neighborhood looking for the house and boom. That's when they find the perfect one. They know the kid that lived there. He's friend. He'll think it's funny so driver stop the car and Mooney gets out and runs up to the door to ring the doorbell. Meanwhile inside the house the homeowner who we'll just call him Mad Max. Max has really been trying to relax. It's been a long week. He's been drinking all night and just wanted to be left alone and suddenly Max's doorbell rings jolting him awake and he's like who is ringing my doorbell this late? So he goes onto the door and he opens it and then when he sees Mooney bare butt mooning him and Mooney laughs and he run away and Max doesn't think that it's funny. So he rushes outside but Mooney he's already made it back to the car. Now it's around this point when the boy sees Max I'm guessing that that's uh, when they realize this house is not their friend house. It's a stranger house and they don't ditch the wrong person. So they realize this. They're like oh they speed away and they are down the road probably laughing you know talking about what just happened and all of a sudden BAM! Driver see highlight in the rear view mirror. Someone behind him no big deal probably just a car passing but this car start getting close and one of the boy in the car finally realized it's a Max, the guy from the house they just sprang. And Max is still pissed off so the boys are like oh my god he's following us. So they start yelling at the driver to make it to the freeway because they think maybe they can lose Max there. So driver heads up to the freeway and Max speed up right behind them and then pow. Max nudge the car with their car so they go faster and they try to escape but Max just keeps speeding up behind them and pretty quickly Max is going top speed around 99 miles per hour and the boys they are going as fast as they can to keep away from him and they are freaking out and then boom Max rams his car into the back of the boy's car really hard he rams him so hard in fact that the driver heads whip into the window and he blacks out so there they are the boys they are stuck in the car car going faster than 99 miles per hour with the driver who is now passed out and they are terrified and that is when Max car pushes their car off the road into the tree and the car is total and the boys are messed up really bad but Max he doesn't stop his car to check on him he doesn't get out doesn't even pull over he just drive himself straight home meanwhile back in the crash site paramedic arrive and they find the boys and there are six of them three of them have moderate injuries but the other three are in critical condition and unfortunately those three doesn't make it now luckily when their car crashed there were multiple bystanders who saw it happen and at least one of them sees Max driving away and they decided to follow him all the way to his house and they report him to the police. So the police, they go to Max's house, they arrest him. Here's his mugshot. So Max goes to trial. He found guilty of three counts of first degree murder and he's sentenced to life. It's a sad story. Shout out to Corona, California.